All right, so first time here, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Um, we've been meeting a lot of new uh, people that are new to preparedness of any kind, and I've been recently setting up a couple different bags uh, for different situations, different things to uh, use more of a bug out bag style. There's some quicker bags that have like everything in them. And I mean everything with full blown redundancy, everything. Then I've been setting up some smaller ones. Still not finished with this one. But if you're new to the whole prepping idea, just to give you a little uh, example or thoughts, you know, you have the three or the um, rules of three, right, for the survival. But then there's like your different C's, the cutting, the combustion, all that stuff. So um, so basically in this, I was just going to try to put something together in this pack. This one's really basic. And nothing has to be really crazy or anything like that. We've got a fire starter. This one is still in the box. I haven't even put it. I just started throwing stuff into this bag. I can't even get this thing out of here. But we've got... Fire starter, nothing crazy. One of those uh, uh, bayites. They're uh, halfway decent. Then, depending on what kind of stuff you like, to uh, I've got some of these um, uh, like scope and lens cleaners in there too. But I got one that has glasses, and I got scopes. Right? Didn't even finish this medium-sized pocket yet. That was just in the top little pocket, and then this one I put cheap little Dollar Tree uh, emergency candles in and one of the containers that we actually got from the which one's this one from this one's from Goodwill so we overpaid <laughs> these ones were all like dollar 99 but it's a uh, one wall so it's not like um, a, a double insulated so if you need to cook or boil it's easier and everything lighter the whole thing so we got those things up in the top in the bottom, and those are two little things, you know, you got a container. You got a container, you can boil stuff in it. The mat, the, the um, candles, they're multi-purpose. Being able to see or something if you don't have a flashlight. Uh, did put a couple of cheap Dollar Tree lighters in this one. Now some of my more, I don't wanna say more advanced packs, but this is like a thrown together, literally like, like I didn't even, the whole inside of this is just having I mean, that since, it's nothing crazy. You don't have to go completely crazy. What are you going to need? I got a little beanie cap in there. Um, a bag of dryer lint as a fire starter. That's cheap. Um, the little hat was a dollar or whatever. Uh, I did throw one of my Schrade blades in this one. I don't know if I'll leave this one in here because I kind of like this blade and I wanted to be in something maybe a little bit more active. Big thing, cordage. I did throw the cold steel in here, that Bushman, cold steel Bushman. Pull this stuff out. So this is just one that we're starting. I uh, got a couple sandbags, whatever, wrapped with paracord, so a little bit more cordage. And then two different books. I don't know who is gonna be grabbing this bag. I don't. I didn't fully finish it, but here's like a essential armies manual, big old fat book. But. If someone doesn't have any knowledge or if there's something that, who knows, you know, you go out and you do stuff and you think to yourself like, oh man, I know there's a way I used to do something. Well, even book, just having a book because what, what has the powers down or something? This has got, this got all sorts of stuff in it. It does, I mean, it shows you plants, it shows you um, different traps, deadfalls, there you go, little arrow, trap, snares. It's got, you know, it's got... It doesn't have to be this stinking big. I got this one for free. My dad was like, hey, I grabbed it for you. Cause he's a book, he's like a book nut. So I so got that one in there. And then this one I did purchase. I've shown this on another video and I didn't know where I was gonna put it. My wife was reading quite a bit of it. She's into all the medical stuff. She's gonna be the one patching me up when there's a problem, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but this one is like a survival doctor book. So it's got, what does it say there? What to do when Help is not on the way. So there's there's knowledge in there. This one's not quite as big as the other one. So what I did was, I got some cutting stuff, I got some combustion stuff, I've got the cordage, I've got information, and it's still not done. 
I'm just trying to show you a quick example. I don't want to bust that bag open because that will be insane. Um, but you get your basic stuff. You get your basic, you know, have a halfway decent knife. Uh, have uh, some knowledge that you can hold. Even I, I had this little, I don't even know where it is, a little SAS um, survival manual or survival book, whatever, but it's small, small little book. You could pack it in one of the top little pockets. And it had a ton of information for depending on what climate you're in, for depending on what continent you're in. It, it had all sorts of stuff on it. It was pretty cool. But something like some 550 paracord, uh, a way to start fire. This one has lighters in it, and this one has a one of those ferrocium rods in it, a decent knife. You know, stuff doesn't have to be, I think when I bought this one, and that's a homemade case or whatever, but when I bought the Bushman, I think it was like $15. I think they've gone up a little bit. These are like $30, I think, somewhere around there, the Schrade Blades. I'll try to remember to put links down in the description. And just having something that's gonna get you through, like this bigger pack up here that we have, I kind of added a little bit of more stuff to it, but it's like one of the wife's packs. It's a big pack, but it's uh, really comfortable and easy to carry. It's got um, straps on it and stuff, and that is mainly food. It's got food, a way to cook the food. Um, so I got I got separate bags, and we always do these. I've shown videos and stuff like this, but since this one's right here, I'm going to show you that one. But we got this one, and this is just like a whole entire food bag. Just food. So any bags you find, cheap bags, I'm like a bag nut and I, I got I got other bags. I've got EDC bags, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to get that crazy. If you're first starting out, get yourself a decent knife. Uh, watch some survival videos. Watch, um, maybe I should start doing a little bit more of that kind of stuff, like a little bit of knife work stuff that you can use in a survival situation. But <clears throat> having tools is going to be big. Uh, having ropes in, in a survival incident or SHTF styled event, having ways to cook the food, having um, you know a container I could throw berries in and eat them on the way, a way to get water. This pack right here, literally, I s just started this, and I'm like, I'm gonna see how I could pack whatever in there, but I want to be able to bring some books, and I didn't want to just throw them in a suitcase with the food or bins, you know, the totes that we always do. We, uh, you know, we have some extra water filters in those. I'm probably going to have to buy another one. And I want to make a whole nother. I don't, I'm not saying that you need. I don't think that there should be a full out bug out bag. One bag you leave. That's everything. The way I see it is in. If you have several different bags. This is just my idea of it. If you have seven different little bags. That this one's got like basic whatever in it. This one's got just about everything but the kitchen sink in it. This one's got food. Uh, those other bags are just food. Uh, I think food could end up being a serious, a serious thing to have. Um, this one has some medical in it. Uh, this one has some medical in it. And then, I, you know, I've got a trauma kit. And they've all got ways to start fires, ways to make the food. And then some of them have, uh, which one? This one that I started here. Also, I might as well bust it out now, right? show everything so i started doing this one and this one has like um some luxuries it's got a fire starter uh fire starters in the dry thing this has more lens cleaner we got some extra spices and this one is another luxury thing that sun shower but then this one will have stuff that has like uh i'll show you this one real quick I'll open it up so i just started throwing these two together just because they were like extra bags they're not bags that i want i want another like a fight bag. I'll have to show you kind of what I mean at some point. Uh, this one's got a hammock in it. And it's got the uh, tent fly in there. Or hammock fly waterproof. Nice fabric thing or whatever there. But uh, it's, a, it's a pretty decent quality. So this bag is going to be... And there's no, no information in this bag. So my idea with this one was just to put kind of odds and ends stuff into it. Having like an inch bag, I'm never coming home. I don't know how realistic that is. If you think of a longer term event, I think one bag is just not going to be enough myself. But having spots 
I know when you're starting out with the new prepping stuff, having spots, um, having some stuff over at your parents' house, having some stuff over at your friend's house, or having some stuff at a whole other piece of property, at a whatever, and then some buddies might want to leave some stuff at your place or at their parents' place, just so there's a little bit of something, and this is not getting into overall food prepping, but items more so, setting up a bag. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too... doesn't matter too much how cool the stuff is is it useful you can buy a million gadgets and they're fun I got some gadgets <laughs> I like them like those hand crank radio thing I, I like some of that stuff uh, and it does come in in uh, more everyday use if the power goes out or something like that stuff works great it works great it, it makes life so much more easy and convenient but as far as setting up a bag, you could set up two or three bags. I mean, how many people do you have in your family? I've got a bag for each person in the family. Most of them keep their bags right in their room or something like that. And it's mostly because I'm cuckoo or something like that. And then they're just like, okay, dad, I'll keep it in my room. <laughs> Stuff like that. Same with the wife. But the wife, is hers is down here. She just knows it's the big puffy one, the real soft one. It's real light, right? I would just make sure you have enough of some simple tools i mean even a pair of pliers could be useful uh, you know the knives books with information especially if you haven't done any it's a bad time to uh, learn on the fly but um get yourself some practice go camping a couple times what do you need when you're out camping think of a, an extended camping trip and i think that will help you uh, figure out a little bit more along the lines of what you might need for a one month period or something along those lines even without having food uh, a lot of my packs don't have food in them um, my EDC does because it goes everywhere in and out of the car and everything like that and that's got uh, food rations in it and some granola bars or something like that but as far as just just starting out get a bag buy a but buy an item every week or something like that maybe you have the extra money you could buy a, do do a redundancy idea you know you could buy yourself two flashlights you could buy yourself Two knives. You could buy yourself uh, two things of cordage. You could buy yourself two survival books. Um, buy yourself two containers for your pack. It's really kind of basic when you think of what you actually would really need if just surviving. So the idea of the pack is to make it more... Uh, comfortable overall get an extra tarp or tarp or two or or get one of those um hammock flies or tent flies like that that are a, a decent waterproof um item that's going to end up helping you uh, have comfort not just survive but you'll you'll be in comfort also uh, if you live where it's really cold buy that extra thick socks buy really good boots these kind of things some of them you're not going to be able to fit inside your bag necessarily but you get a bag set up, make sure it's not too heavy, too. That's another thing. Everybody's like, oh, I got my bug out bag, and it's like 200 pounds. I'm like, cool, run across the street and run back. So I'm going to be able to run with this. No, I, I can see that. You can't barely pick it up. It's got to be something that's not, it's not, I mean, this is not too heavy. Ah, there goes the rope. But this is not too heavy. It's like 10 pounds. I'm probably going to put on that top part. What could I get in there? I don't even know what I'm going to put in there yet. Um... Maybe I'm going to get two or three more pounds in that bag. So maybe it's, we'll say 15 pound bag, something like that. It's got enough stuff in it. It would complement, and the way I'm doing it is because I, there's several different bags is I'm kind of looking for a spot to put some of my stuff also once you start getting this kind of unorganized chaos going up and I've got unorganized chaos in more than one spot than this spot. This is just like my favorite spot to uh, do videos in, so... And which I might end up changing it up. I kind of got another room and I'm thinking about using it. So maybe I'll try that at some point too. <laughs> but uh, these things are are just some of the stuff just sitting out. I mean, I still got extra mag holders that I want to do on like a, a flight back. I'm dropping. Uh, there's, don't worry, there's more mag holders. Plenty of mag holders. But uh, I still got uh, another knife or two. I've still got a few medical supplies. I mean, this bag is filled with medical medical supplies that I need to put somewhere. I don't want to just leave them in a garbage bag necessarily, right? I've got uh well, I've got more food too that I gotta put more of that and I got I did get some more 30 year shelf life stuff. But either way, I'm just going off now.
just get a bag, start out small, buy a couple lighters, throw them in a the bag, uh, buy knives, throw them in a the bag. Just think of anything that you might need because you're going to need a way, a, a, a cooking something, a way to heat up the water to pour into your 30-year 30 30 shelf life bag. So, um, boil water to make instant coffee, um, a container to grab, uh, collect any kind of food you find or something like that. I know video's getting a little bit long. I'm going to hop off of here. I'll try to continue with some of that beginner stuff too sometimes. Uh, sometimes I go off and I'm like, look at what I got. You know, check this out. And and then sometimes I'm off on current events. So let me know what you think and some good ideas. If you put some ideas down into the comments for other people to help other people uh, who may just be starting and they've heard something from uh, a Rambo that they know and they're like, no, this dude says I need this much stuff and it's got to be this knife. It's got to be. If you don't have anything, you need something. Um, whether it's budget stuff or not. And uh, it's just good to have that emergency preparedness gear in case of that emergency. Having a car bag, having a, a EDC bag, having bags ready to go in the house in case you do have to go. They're kind of like a bug out bag idea. But it's not, I'm not just going to run out with the food bag. Oh, I think there's a knife in there too. Knife in there. I just redid that one like two days ago or something like that. So I don't completely remember everything, of course, because two days ago I've been doing too much stuff. Between, anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like. So I just kept going for a minute there. Um, like I said, in the comments, uh, help other people out. If somebody says, well, I don't know about, or what if I need, or do you think I could? And uh, basic needs. Basic needs start out with basic needs and then branch out to comforts, I guess you'd call them. Because really, besides uh, tarp or knife, um, way to start fire and... Uh, I mean, survival is a lot different than... Um, which it would be such a pain to just survive. It's a lot different than having a lot of the comforts that we do have. So these things are just making it more comfortable for you. And hopefully your family and everything. So, all right. I got to go. Thanks for watching.